What's up friends, welcome back to Geo's Wave and today we're going to be talking about personal hygiene. As you can tell from the title, we're going to be talking about just how to maintain and tips how to maintain personal hygiene. You know, because it's we all go through that one time, right? We all go through that one time where we are getting super embarrassed or we're in the gym and or we're just walking out of public or we take our shoes off, something like that, right? We do, we do that and it takes that one time to set us off. And that one time for me, quick little story time, that one time for me was when I was in middle school. I was in middle school, right? My mom decided to fry fish the day before. I went to school, okay? I went to school and everyone kept smelling something. I don't know what, I'm, what everyone is smelling because I can't smell it. Why? Because, damn it, it's me. And who told me that was me? Angelica. And who else told me? Paul. Yes, I'm gonna call you out because I'm still a little bit butthurt about that. But you know what? I forgive you and we are still friends. So you know what? Yeah. Thanks, mom. Thank you for a very embarrassing moment. Actually, you know what's funny? My older brother also went to school, but you know what he did? He had smell good lotion. He had, he had that, like, the, the female lotion inside of his uh, gym locker, and he used it, and he took off his jacket. I was like, bruh, you wasn't gonna tell me before we stepped out of the house that we both were stinking? All right, cool. Ah, uh, bruh, when I tell you that I was hurt, you know why? Because my ex was also in that class too, and they and everyone heard it. It was it was just a mess. Stella, you was there. Yeah, I call it all my friends. But yeah, it was a funny. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. Anyways, this video is geared to men, but ladies, this video can also help you as you might have boyfriends, you might have friends, you might have a son, you might have a dad, you know, or. Some of this actually pertains to you as well, so everyone can take away from it. But anyways, let me go ahead and get started. So, first tip, wash your face. Not that it's super simple, as we all should be doing it every morning, but it goes beyond that. It also means exfoliating your face. I'm not saying doing it every single day, as I am not pro exfoliating your face every single day because it makes your face kind of dry. Well, it does for me. So I'll say exfoliate um, at night, wash your face in the morning, vice versa, but every other day, if that makes sense. Also, make sure you're moisturizing your face at the same time. Yo, yeah, what do you mean at the same time? Can't do it at the same time. Because no one likes to see you walking around out here with white flakes coming off your face or just flying around or just, it's, it's not appealing. It's something we all should be doing anyway. Because we wake up every single morning. That's, it should be a normal thing. You know, wash your face, brush your teeth. Which leads me to step number two. Dental hygiene and just breath and the smelling of your breath in general. Something I take super seriously as is basically your first impressions with a lot of things. I use the Aura Clean Sonic toothbrush, which is right here. No, it's not a spaceship, although it does look like, because I actually said the same thing. The design is absolutely insane. So let's start off with the toothbrush itself, as it is two parts, basically. So the toothbrush, it does 40,000 brush strokes per minute, and it has a set timer for two minutes. You know the birthday song, what they say it's supposed to be two minutes, but I don't know what birthday song is two minutes. And when I say the birthday song, literally it's like a minute. And then also has two settings right now. It has a standard setting, and then also a sensitive teeth setting. So you literally just hit this little button right here. You can't even see it, because it's literally all white, dog. But I'll show you. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And then going, then switching over to the body, you know, the body itself actually is a dryer. You just, okay, let me just tell you right quick, there's one problem that we all do with our toothbrushes. As a kid, we all did it growing up. I know a lot of us actually still do, is we just put our toothbrush either in like one of those little glass things that you buy, you know, with the holes in it, you just stick it right in one of the holes, and then you just cover it with one of those top little things. That's actually bad, because you gotta remember that it's your toothbrush is still wet, which means it's gonna carry all this bacteria and all this other stuff, which is terrible. Which is another reason why I actually love the toothbrush because it has UVC rays in it, which kills 99% of the bacteria. So not only is it drying it at the same time, it's killing the bacteria. So it's an absolutely amazing toothbrush. And then just remember, when you are brushing your teeth, get that tongue down. That's where a lot of the stink breath part comes. Yes, yeah, stink breath, you know? If you taste something bad in your mouth, it, yeah, your breath stinks. And just make sure you're flossing as well, because I know a lot of times when you all are flossing, and then you're like just done flossing, and like you can actually smell it. So just make sure you're flossing every day as well. Dental hygiene is super important, man. It's everyone's first impression, dog. Take care of your teeth. Moving along to step number three is our armpits, right? So for women already, you already naturally just shave all your armpits or you're one of the willow sniffs out there who enjoy the armpit hair. Cause yeah, hey, free yourself, be you, do what you wanna do. For guys, I'm not telling you to basically bald eagle your armpits. No, you don't need to do that. Basically just groom them until, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 
Groom them, bro. Why? Because if you let your armpit hair grow excessively, when you apply deodorant, you're just applying it onto your hair, dog. You're not really applying it to, to the armpit where the deodorant actually needs to go. And a lot of times why you should do it anyway, because it just holds all the sweat, which causes bacteria, which causes your armpits to stink. So yeah, just take my advice, please. Step number four is the balls and the pubic hair. Yes, I'm going there because it's super important for us and we all go through it. We all do that little sit. Yeah, that joint stand. It happens, dog. We sweat. We sweat a lot. One thing you can do is like the armpits groom, you know, because that's what's holding all the sweat. Two, either like wear looser briefs or box or something because a lot of times when you don't get enough air down there, it's just going to cause you to sweat. Again, cause bacteria. Again, that's what causes us to stink. And or third, you can actually throw some baby powder down there, you know, it might look a little weird, but it does soak up a lot of the moisture. The ladies will thank you for it, and you're welcome. Moving along to tip number five, as we work our way down, we're now at our feet as that naturally sweats as well. And Polo, I'm talking to you because we grew up and your feet always smell the worst, so you can take away from a lot from this video, dog. So listen closely. One thing I recommend is actually, which a lot of guys hate wearing, but let me tell you, just wear them. No one's gonna fault you for it. It's okay. The no show socks. Why? Why I say that? Because a lot of times, a lot of times, like the, the trend right now for guys, right, is the taper jeans. And it comes to cut off your ankle and you wanna show your ankle off. Yeah, cool. That's all cool. And then you wear no socks with it because you don't wanna show them you're wearing socks, right? All right, that's fine. Uh, you can wear the no show socks, dog. Yes, you can do that. It's okay. Dog, what are they gonna see? Unless you like go out in public and show everyone that you have no show socks on, then there's really no one will ever see. So the baby powder thing also works for your shoes. Just throw a little bit of baby powder in there and then boom, take care of it. I'm really, uh, I just recommend a lot of like Adidas shoes, honestly, because a lot of Adidas shoes, you know how they're knitted and threaded. There's a lot of air circulating through the shoes. So you, your feet like just sweat like less, especially for me, which I noticed from the Adidas shoes. I'm an Adidas guy. So, you know, that, that, I mean, I'm just saying Adidas sponsor me if you want to. I mean, yeah, I wear you all the time, so you know. And all right, guys, that wraps up my five tips to you. So, well, it was five tips and then a whole bunch of little sub tips in there for you all. Because, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to give you whatever information that I could that works for me personally. So I really do hope they work for you. And again, if you want to know more about the, the toothbrush itself, I'm going to link that below in the description. Bruh. Definitely try it out at me if it don't work, dog. Because when I tell you I said 100% behind it, I do. Anyways, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. Also, hit that bell button to get notified anytime I do post. Follow me on all my social media. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will be shouting out one lucky member who's ever following me on my Twitter and happened to share my video. I will be shouting you out in my next video. And I'm going to do that so on and so forth as you share my videos. So, you all know what to do. Stay wavy. Yeah. And I'll see y'all next time.